everybody, this is uh, Logan Holdaway with Shepherd's Branding, and today I want to give you three reasons why you would use the break apart path function in Inkscape. First of all, what is break apart and where do you find it? It's a path function within your path uh, menu right here at the top of your screen, and break apart is among the many. Uh, it is Control Shift K if you ever were wondering what the shortcut is on the keyboard. So three reasons why you would use the break, break apart path function in Inkscape. First reason would be if you wanted to make a single object into separate objects. So let me explain what I mean by that. Uh, this is a single object, but uh, you wouldn't be able to break this apart. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and draw some lines over it, create a stroke over it just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the stroke down here at the bottom, right click, and I'm going to make it 32 so it's nice and thick for us. And then I'm going to go to Path, Stroke to Path. And if you see, this is no longer a stroke. If I undo it by Control Z, that's a stroke. Now Control Y, that's a path. So now what I can do is holding Shift while having this selected, and I also have to have the Select and Transform Objects tool uh, on hand. I also have to hold Shift and click on that red object underneath. Go to Path, Difference. Now, let me show you. If I click on it, you see all of these are selected because they are still a single object. Now, in order to make those separate objects, I would go to Break Apart. And now, they are separate objects that you can manipulate individually just like that so that's the first reason why you would use the break apart path function the second reason uh, is one that I use fairly often um, say you had some rasterized version of a butterfly like this I can zoom in real quick you can see this is rasterized um, I want to make this into uh, a path and the way that I would do that I would, I would go to path trace bitmap and what you have to do with these is you kind of have to play with uh, this threshold here in order to get it just right I've already pre-adjusted it to be what I want um, but then you can go to update uh, and it will show you the preview and then you can hit OK and it actually does it for you so that now you can see there's actually a path that's been created out of that rasterized version and I can uh, manipulate that path just like that. So now, say I want to go ahead um, and still have this orange underneath it. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Um, w the way that I would do that is I would, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this guy too so he's out of our way. The way that I would do that would be uh, to go to, let's go ahead and select him, Control D for duplicate and go to path break apart. Now you can see all of these little tiny objects here are selected individually and I would go to path union. Now I've filled in this object. I have filled it in and I can set it down to the bottom and I can make it orange and now this is a rasterized version or excuse me a vectorized version of uh, what I just had before including the color underneath it like that. Now a third reason why you would use the break apart path function is to create an object out of what is missing inside of another object. For instance I've got this heart missing outside or uh, missing inside of this circle. Now say if I just wanted this heart I would go to path break apart I can take this guy and now I've got just the heart here. Um, something you need to be aware of with this is that if you had just had a tiny part that I uh, I don't know exactly how to say this but let me see here difference uh, you can see here it's not fully inside of this object now if I go to path uh, break apart it's not going to do anything at all um, because it's not fully inside of that. So um, 
that's just something you need to be aware of if you ever try to create an object out of what is missing inside of another object. You can't do it in this scenario here. Uh, but these are the three reasons why you would use the break apart path function in Inkscape. And so uh, I hope this helps you. If you have any other reasons why you have used break apart in the past, I would really like to hear about them uh, in the comments. Thanks for watching.